This is going to be the last Monday of the backtrack regulation, as we will have Color for Rock and Color Swirl play in this game. Color for Rock currently 4-1. and one. If he wins this game, then he clinches the top 12 with a 5-1 and one record. It's been another great tournament for Color for Rock. Playing against Color Swirl in his final game, Color Swirl will be trying to keep Color for Rock from making the top 12, I guess. I mean, that's Color for, uh, that'll be Color Swirl's goal in this one, to keep a marble from going to the playoffs. But anyway, let's just, let's see what happened in the other games for today. So Everywhere Yellow Soul defeating Everywhere Green Soul 11 to 4. I'm thinking it's safe to say we're gonna see Everywhere Yellow Soul in the All Star Tournament this year, which is the top 18 marbles. Everywhere Green Soul fourth straight loss. He is about eliminated at this point. Oceana defeating Bermuda Swirl 14 to 2. That will be a clincher for Bermuda Swirl, making last place in back to track this year. Oceana will for sure be in a playoff qualification bracket. Moon Swirl defeating Banana Swirl 16 to nothing. So Moon Swirl is still. Rolling, maybe that he'll make the 16th seed bracket and still have a shot for his third backtrack playoff appearance. But anyway, let's begin Color for Rock and Color Swirl's game right now. All right, let's begin. On the dice roll, we will get a one. So maze race, time to race, and then balance jump will be the order for this game. All right, we're starting in the maze race. Color for Rock in the red funnel first here on the first point. Color for Rock will take that first point one to nothing now. All right, second point is now underway. Color Swirl in this time. Color Swirl will tie this maze race up at one. Very slow pace point on that. But anyway, now it's time for the third point. And very close red funnel battle. Color Swirl gets in. Close point. Color Swirl will make it two to one. All right, fourth point now. Color for Rock. And very close one. Color for Rock barely able to take that one. So fifth point now underway. In this maze race, Color for Rock will close this maze race out now. So 3-2 to two win for Color for Rock in the maze race. Full score is now 2 nothing. But anyway, time to race. Color for Rock, 34 to start the time to race. Color Swirl. This is going to be a great first try. My goodness, Color, Color Swirl is going to get some points out of that. So two points for Color Swirl, 2-2 two to two now. Second try, Color Swirl. Not a bad time to race at all. For Color Swirl, former time to race playoff marble 35. But anyway, Color for Rock, he will get another 34. So that is going to be one more point for Color for Rock, 3 to 2 now. We move on to the balance jump, the last unit of this one. Color for Rock, ooh, bad miss by Color for Rock. That looked like a very funky jump. Tried to do a little too much and it backfired. But anyway, Color Swirl having a chance to. Maybe take the lead. He gets to the 20 just barely, and he will take the lead. 4-3. to three. Color Swirl in his final game. Trying to get the upset in this one. Color Swirl, he will get only to the 10. And he felt the pressure. Color for Rock now. He, he needs the 30 to clinch a W in this one. And he will do that. Just barely passes 30, and Color for Rock has won this game 5-4. to four. He ends off with a 5-1 record. And he is going to the back-to-track playoffs for the second straight year. Went 6-0 last year and lost in the round of 16 to Water Blue, looking to go a long way in this year's back-to-track playoff. But this marble is absolutely something special. Already winning a bronze medal in the balance jump this year. Very excited to see what Color for Rock's going to do in this year's back-to-track playoffs. Let's see how far he'll be able to go. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this. I will see you all later for some more games coming up.